All that shit was feeding the act. Talking about, oh, it been 10 years. Nah, nah, nah. You following through. Don't sound like a that's trying to fight a losing battle. He went from nah, nah, nah to I'm going on vacation to I'm not replying no more. <laughs> that was the fastest change of tone. If, if both of them dropped an album this year, I think Ken's going to Yeah. Like, that's what's the, crazy. The, he would have some first. But I don't, it's it's, I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over. Consumption right? right now is like yeah. people want to see Kendrick, ha and, and it's going to be interesting when he does. They want to see him have the run with him finally having yeah. the, the crown. Maybe this is criticism. Maybe that. But when you die, will people notice? Well, I know there will be a lot of members of me by a lot of people. Many will hate me, people say. A person needs to live with Vader, the was born. Well, rap fans, it appears that one of the most legendary rap beefs in the game's history is finally starting to end. After dropping diss after diss at each other, it looks like Kendrick Lamar and Drake's diss tracks have come to an end. I'm not saying it's completely over, but it's been a few days since either of them dropped anything, which leads us to believe that it could be over. But you know, Drake had to say his final words about this beef, so we'll go over what he told Kendrick Lamar in his final response. Just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. So, let's explore why the feud between Kendrick Lamar and Drake seems to be cooling off. It all started to quiet down after Drake released his track, The Heart Part 6. You might wonder how another diss track could calm things down. Well, it's all about the approach Drake took. Sure, he still threw some jabs at Kendrick, but the main focus of his song was to address and deny the accusations Kendrick made in his previous tracks. Drake spent the whole song clarifying that what Kendrick claimed about him was untrue and based on false information. Drake even claims that his own team provided Kendrick Kendrick with the material for his diss tracks, which means he is essentially saying that he set a trap for Kendrick by giving him the information, which he then used against him. This twist is clear throughout the song, and Drake emphasizes it. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. So Drake is claiming that all of the rumors about a hidden daughter, which Kendrick mentioned in Meet the Grams, are false and part of a plan he created. However, fans are skeptical of Drake's claim. Given Drake's previous secrecy surrounding his son, Adonis, many are left wondering if the daughter rumors are true or if they are just another layer of secrecy in Drake's personal life. But Drake doesn't stop there in his response to Kendrick's accusations. He also addresses rumors linking him to Jeffrey Epstein and allegations of involvement with younger girls. He begins to respond by saying, Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit. I expected TikTok videos you collected and dissected instead of being on some disdirection you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirection and later in the song he specifically addresses the accusations involving younger girls saying I never been with no one underage but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with just for clarity I feel disgusted I'm too respected if I was fucking young girls I promise I'd have been arrested I'm way too famous for this shit you just suggested but that's not the lesson clearly there's a deeper message and let's just say drake's approach confused many fans and figures in the rap community for example why would drake openly admit that the epstein comparisons were expected that's a pretty bold statement to make casually furthermore his excuse for not engaging with minors is that he is simply too famous and that he would be arrested which isn't really a valid reason at all history has shown that fame does not always protect celebrities from scandals and drake like any other high profile figure is open to any of them and, as things stand, Kendrick's allegations may have gained some credibility because old interviews with Millie Bobby Brown are resurfacing and trending on Twitter. With rumors swirling about Drake's involvement with younger girls, this interview appears to connect the dots. Millie was 14 years old when the interview took place, and she discussed her relationship with Drake. She begins by expressing her admiration for him, describing him as a great role model. However, the conversation takes a turn when she reveals that Drake texted her, saying how much he misses her, but it does not end there. When the interviewer asks Millie what kind of advice Drake gives her, given their significantly different roles in the entertainment industry, she says Drake advises her on boys, but when asked for specifics, she declines to speak more on it, stating she'll let it stay to the text messages. What about your relationship with Drake? Tell me about your friendship. How did uh, this all come about? I love him. I met him in Australia, and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great, uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day, and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming. 
traveling to Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys, he helps me. What? Yeah, 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 he's great. He's wonderful, I love What's him. What's his advice with boys? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> Doesn't that interview sound a bit interesting? With everything going on, and the allegations that Kendrick Lamar is taking aim at Drake, we have to believe Kendrick may have some truth about Drake, and isn't just making this stuff up. So, yes, that is where we are at the moment, completely confused by Drake's responses to everything. But what's more interesting is that Drake appears to be looking for a way out of this entire situation with Kendrick. But what does this mean exactly? Well, he appears to be trying to find an excuse to exit the battle with Kendrick Lamar, and I'm not making this up. He even stated at the end of his song, Family Matters, that he was going on vacation. I'm going on vacation, I hope next time y'all plan it right, cause you gotta pay for saying my name, guess now niggas understand the price now. This has not gone unnoticed by key figures in the rap industry. DJ Academics, a major voice in rap known for keeping up with the latest news and a big Drake fan, was streaming alongside Joe Budden, another well-known rap personality. They discussed the rap feud and pointed out that Drake appears to be seeking an escape by mentioning he's going on vacation. Um, well, if me and you spoke for an hour yesterday, and I said the best thing for Drake to do, this is when you accused me of only giving Kendrick advice. I said, the best thing for Drake to do is find out. And on the end of that amazing record he put out, he found out. What was that? Him. You just told me to out. Yo, I'm going on vacation. I'm not even doing this with y'all no more. Yeah, but if, if you go on vacation and, like, again. If you if, go on vacation, you admit defeat. If you go on vacation and he bombs on you two more times. Like, he, I don't think no, this is no, the last bomb. If you bomb. go on vacation right this second and nothing else happens, or even if Kendrick bombed one more time, he could save face. His audience is big enough to, they might not give a f but. No, it's not about his audience. Do we just say it's an L though? Oh no, it's L. It's L. I'm saying that as objective as possible. If he follows through with the vacation while I'm just bombing on him in every rap style that was ever invented, it's L. Obviously, this was before Drake released The Heart Part 6, but the impact of Kendrick's back-to-back -back tracks directed at Drake was so powerful that he was forced to respond. Furthermore, it appears that Drake is simply tired of the situation, as he openly tells Kendrick in The Heart Part 6 that he no longer wants to continue dissing him. But you just never known affection. I don't want to diss you anymore. This really got me second guessing. And ever since he said that, there's been complete silence from both sides. Drake isn't saying anything more, and Kendrick Lamar hasn't released any additional songs. This quietness could very well signal the end of this legendary rap battle. And if it is over, well, it's definitely forever going to be talked about. However, the alarming incident at Drake's house is currently the topic of conversation. Early Tuesday morning, a serious shooting occurred at the rapper's Toronto mansion, shocking the community and fans. Drake's security guard was seriously injured in this terrifying incident. The guard was standing outside a gate when he received gunshot wounds from what police believe was a vehicle that fled immediately following the attack. He was immediately taken to a hospital in Toronto, where his injuries turned out to be serious, but not life-threatening. The Toronto police are actively investigating the incident, reviewing surveillance footage to identify the suspect and determine the sequence of events. Inspector Paul Krawczyk told reporters that, while the details are still unclear, video evidence could provide important leads. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working apparently as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperative. This incident has raised concerns about the safety of prominent figures in the city. Meanwhile, Drake's representative confirmed that the artist was uninjured, but it is unclear whether he was present at his home during the attack. The search for the suspect or suspects continues, with the community hoping for a quick resolution to this violent violation of peace at the home of one of Canada's most famous artists. And on the other hand, Kendrick Lamar has been completely silent after releasing Meet the Grams and Not Like Us back to back on Drake. So what do you think of this rap beef? Drake's response to Kendrick's sharp criticisms has left many fans confused. 
His approach in the Heart Part 6 attempted to debunk the accusations and instead created more confusion. Many listeners and critics have pointed out that Drake's explanations seemed like attempts to dodge the issues rather than confront them head on. Furthermore, prominent figures in the rap community, including DJ Academics and Joe Budden, have stated that Drake appears to be looking for a way out. This idea is fueled by his claim to be on vacation, as mentioned in his song Family Matters, which many see as an excuse to take a break from the escalating feud. This situation, combined with the troubling incident at his Toronto mansion, paints a picture of danger that is not typically associated with the rapper. All of these factors combined have led some to speculate that this could be Drake's first significant setback in a genre where his dominance has rarely been challenged. Even though Drake was the last to respond, the general opinion appears to be that Kendrick Lamar has delivered enough to win this rivalry. A lot of people and fans believe Kendrick's direct and impactful tracks have moved the odds in his favor, establishing him as the clear winner in the battle against Drake. But what are your thoughts? While some still see Drake as the winner, many other people believe Kendrick has taken the lead. Finally, it comes down to individual preferences, so there may never be a clear winner. However, as it stands, Kendrick appears to have outperformed Drake. And one final question, do you believe this is the end of the rivalry? Or will Kendrick release another track to completely end it? We'd love to hear your thoughts, as this debate is far from over and continues to captivate the rap world.